Log recording, 7.48 in the evening. Still Sunday, the 17th of December, 2023. Uh, we were John C. Roseman, California, losing his mind again. Uh, it's a uh, night for the movies. I'm revisiting a couple of movies that have really made emotional impact these days. Albert Finney, 1970 musical Scrooge. I remember they kept playing that thing over and over again on the networks until they just stopped it. When you get uh, cable and also streaming, They'll play it on her during Christmas time. And the other one was the Christmas Perennial. Not the Ten Commandments and definitely not Ben Hur. Even though they would be doing it. It's normally around Easter time that they would be playing those music. Those particular two heavyweights. No, this one would be Sound of Music. I suppose when Ma saw this on television, she fell in love with it, but she may have seen the theatrical release of it. And she fell in love with the music, with the actress, everything about him, including Christopher Plummer. So every time it was Christmas, this movie would be playing during that time. And we had to have the television turned on to either ABC7 or NBC4, or maybe even CBS2, if one of those stations was going to carry it. Before the streaming services kicked in and before they took it off. But these days they keep, they'll replay it one way or another. Back in the 80s and 90s, we had the VHS. She would play it all the time. We gave Ma the, the, the two-pack. Two VHS cassettes because it was like a three-and-a-half-hour movie. Came in with an intermission. And the Christmas Day we had was about... Oh, 88, 89, I think somewhere in that time. 88. We played it over and over again. If we actually had the VHS for Scrooge, we would be playing that thing over and over again. Down the road, when you got the DVDs, over and over. Sometimes I would hear the music in my sleep. It's only during the holiday season that the film would be broken out. But, but, yeah. After 2013, my brother and I, we couldn't see it anymore. It reminded us too much how Ma loved it. Even though we may or may not have had the DVD buried somewhere in the collection. It didn't matter. I know it was perennial. We would watch maybe It's a Wonderful Light. No. Maybe or maybe not we'd watch it, but Miracle on 34th Street. A Christmas Carol with Albert Sims in it. But if they had Albert Finney, we'd watch it. And Dave. But then after that,
It was harder and harder for me to watch those kind of Christmas films because they always reminded me of Ma and Dave. This season, I just had to take the chance. I saw it on the streaming services that I that I subscribed to. I saw the Miracle on 34th Street, the original one. I saw the Albert Sims. <laughs> Trying to get into it. Sometimes I feel like I really didn't want to do it. But I wanted to honor my family. So I did stomach it. Had to stomach it. I even tried to head to stomach Scrooge. I loved it when I was watching it with my brother. I noticed that when I lost my family, there was a lot of things that I had taken interest in with them. That these days I'm having a hard time trying to adjust to it. That I don't watch them anymore. Or what's it a great while? My brother was military. There's a lot of military films out there my brother and I watched, and now I can't watch a lot of them. It reminds me too much. There was a series called Band of Brothers on HBO. We had gotten to the DVD set, my brother and I. We would watched it over and over and over again. It's online. I can watch it streaming. I still have the DVDs. I can't watch it again. I got the movie Spartacus and Ben-Hur. Ten Commandments. I tried to watch those during Easter time. This is basically the Christmas stuff I'm, I'm going through right now. Some of the fans, uh, some of the favorites. And it still hurts like hell. It still hurts like hell. You know, when they kept playing uh, Sound of Music, it was always with a lot of commercials in it. If I happen to watch it on streaming, I can watch it without it and enjoy it that way. I've got it on network right now. It's four hours long. It itself is about three hours and some odd minutes. This is commercials that take up a hell of a lot of time, I'll tell you that much. I put up the Christmas lights because... I wanted something to celebrate Christmas with. A constant memory and a constant memorial tribute. Whatever I could find a description of words for. That try to tell me that this matters. And I'm still having a hard time dealing with it. I'm still having a hard time dealing with it. How am I not supposed to have it? How am I not supposed to deal with it? I mean, I could have just not put the Christmas decorations up. I mean, completely put everything else away and just not deal with the Christmas holiday itself. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. I know people would probably say, well, your family's not here. They're dead. I don't care. That wouldn't be right. You know, I can't change the past. I know. I can't change the pain I have right now. There's no way I can. I have to deal. I have to cope. I have to move on. I have to manage. That's how it is. 
I'm trying to find new things to help take care of me or get me through the long runs on this one because I'm still having issues over this crap. I'm still trying to deal with it. I don't find blame. There is no blame. There is just dealing and coping and functioning. That's how it is. That's what it is. So, but I know as I keep experiencing more and more of the feedback online of how people are dealing with the grieving in the morning and, and in traditions and stuff like that. So, they probably would have a direct bearing, but I have to put the importance on it. I'd have to tell people that this is more this is important. Your opinion matters and I'm val valuing that. Fine. But I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes I'm conflicted and confused if it is the right thing to do or not. I still want to honor honor Ma and Dave. Despite the fact they are dead. And it's important to me. Maybe the other people don't understand and I don't care. Long time ago I had a neighbor. I thought it was a friend. Well, still, but you know, see what happens anyway. And I can't do anything about it. There was a falling out that we had over the situation. We hadn't spoken to each other in a few years. And it's hard for me to deal with it. But I have to let it go. The thing is, I cared about the guy. That's the thing. I still do. I didn't have to care enough just to say, okay, enough's enough. What else can I say or do? He said some awful things concerning about my family. I got the gist of it. It was just trying to needle my ass. And the thing of it, I look at it right now. And I'm like, shit. You actually cared that much? You could have put a little bit more emphasis on a damn insult. Come on. My brother, I could tell you, he was a mean bastard at times. He was an asshole. I'd seen him at his worst. And trust me, my neighbor doesn't even rate to that level. I'd seen my brother crawl through gutters trying to get his fix. We've been through gutters trying to get his fix. One way or another. So yeah. He has no clue what being an asshole is all about. Being an asshole to you and your family and everybody else. Including himself. Ma was a struggling woman. And the more I kept learning about her background for my brother. You know, sometimes you look at your family as saints until you realize they also had a darker side to them. And I smile. I'm like, there's not a damn thing they could say or do that would convince me that my family would be the lowest thing on the earth and he's so damn prideful he wants to go for the gut. And I'm laughing to myself at this point because he doesn't know shit from Shinola. He only knows his own personal hell. But I know my mama. I know my brother. I know what the hell they've been through. So trust me. It ain't worth it. If I don't retain him as a friend, all I can do is just let him in the God's hands and 
God deals with the guy. All I can do is just pray for him, forgive his ass, and move on with my life. That's all I can do. The holiday season is for beginnings and rebirth. Well, actually, Easter is supposed to be the rebirth, but this is a beginning of something. Or a reminder of it. So, so, what do I say or do about it? Not a damn thing. I go through the emotions, I go through the roller coasters, I tear myself apart, I cry my ass off. I cry like crazy. I cry, I belly ache, and I go nuts over it. What else am I supposed to do? Not a damn thing. I have the memories of what happened. And that's it. I have the memories. But what am I supposed to do about it? Oh, well, I don't know. Right now I got Sound of Music still on. And I'm dealing with it. I'll watch it. It's on silent, but I'm watching it. It still hurts. It still reminds me of my mother a great deal. Some people may find amusement and try to find something to be insulting about it. And you know what? That's on them, not on me. I already know what it means to me. I already know what it means for me. It's still a, a classic. It's not going to change that. There's a lot of movies and films out there and television shows that I probably may never see again or work my way around to seeing them again. That's all right. I'm doing okay. So, what else am I going to do? I don't know. If Dave or Ma was still here, we'd be watching the sound of music and just enjoying the music. Enjoying the, the film itself. That's what we do. Dave and I would be enjoying the music of... Uh, Albert Finney and, and the lines that we kept learning every so often. From the Ghost of Christmas Present. Pointing his finger at Albert Finney in the film and going, Ebenezer Scrooge, the sins of man are huge. A never-ending symphony of villainy, of infamy, duplicity, deceit, and subterfuge. And no one's worse than Ebenezer Scrooge. I could throw in a different lines in that one or different wording in it, but you know, it's still there. How am I feeling right now? Well, in about, a, about an hour or two, I'm going to be hitting sack, or maybe earlier than that. Since I got the sound of music on, on streaming, I can watch it. Scrooge, I've already seen. I could try seeing the later versions of A Miracle on 34th Street with Richard Attenborough. It's, it's okay. I like the original one, Ben, but, you know, this one's all right. I know I got work in the morning. Got to straighten up the apartment before we get a visitor. I still got a bug spray happening tomorrow. And how I'm supposed to be dealing and coping through it all? Well, I'm, I'm managing. I'll still be torn apart left and right, but that's about it. What else am I supposed to say or do? I could do a lot of recordings on my audio at this point and just go nuts over it.
The holiday season, yeah, it means something for all of us. It means something to each and every one of us. Positive, negative, in between. Whatever traditions we go through, whatever things we undertake. Uh, foods, beverage, events, something. Something. And I know that I'm going to be turning this damn thing off. And it will still play. I don't need to see it right now. I can just haul ass to the bed and sleep for a few hours. Wake up and work my ass off in the apartment. Waiting for a rainstorm that may or may not hit. I moved uh, my Christmas tree back to the tree to the window where it's where it is. This is battery powered. But still. I just wanted something for this holiday season, not to really bring my ass down. I kept the lights up all year, almost two years straight. Well, not the ones back here, but there's selections I've got over here. It's needed for me. This is going to be kind of difficult for me to do this. But I'm going to try to see if I can turn this damn thing around without screwing up the damn power supply. I've got it on artificial battery right now as it is. So, and this is still hooked up to the other extension. So, uh, okay, we're going to try to do something here. Okay. I'll take off the fan, and I'm going to maneuver this thing, okay? Bear in mind. This is the rest of the area. Okay? Part of it. Um, top portion is still family. Still knick-knack dishes. Junk up on the... Junk up up there. If you happen to see anything crawling around, don't freak. I'm still dealing with bug war. So here we go. There we go. Catching it. Yeah, the lights are on, but they're not blinking. But that's what I've had for a couple of years straight. All right, let's move this. Welcome to my existence. Lights are not on, but I'll probably do another video about it. Maybe on my cell phone when I'm inclined to do so, and hopefully be better that way. Alright, so let me get the uh, power cord back on, because I don't want to drain out the damn battery that badly on it. Okay, here we go. And now I get to put in a fan. Here we go. Back to normal. That's part of my existence that I have. I mean, I may do a better one when I'm doing the cell phone probably tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you what I deal with on a constant basis. Am I ashamed of it? It is what it is. I live in an apartment that's cluttered and screwed up. I know, I say it is what it is, but, you know, what can I say or do about it? Not much. Not much. Water bottle. Gatorade bottle. Orange flavoring. I've been drinking that thing for about a year and a half. Uh, one of these would have tea, and the other one would have a coffee, cocoa concoction. I think this one has the uh, 
Oh, let's get the tea. It'll be lukewarm in the morning. This would be the uh, coffee cocoa connection, a caffeine fix. It's lukewarm. You know, they say you're not supposed to drink caffeine and ch chocolate at night. Well, it's not exactly a holiday drink, but I'm using elastic cocoa and trying to make it into a mocha-like mixture. For me, mocha is like chocolate and, and coffee. That's all it is. So that's what we're dealing with. Chocolate and coffee. I'll be posting these things in the morning, earlier in the morning, when I get up, grumbling and griping. I'll be drinking my lukewarm tea, trying to figure out how the hell to get through life. And if I warm it up enough, throw in some uh, extra coffee in it, just to keep me going. Later on this week, I get laundry going. It'll be a miracle in itself. Also get the pan out of the dishwasher get set up with the coffee, but not just coffee. I'll have to give me another pan to start the concoction. It'll take about half hour, a little bit more, to warm it up to a point where I have flavors blended into it. And then I can have my I can have my mulled wine of sorts. I have fruit. I got pineapple in cans. Drain off the juices, throw them in a container, and just mix in. Just mix in my concoction. I think Ma would have liked it. I think David would too. Yeah, I can feel like I'm tearing myself apart and like this holiday season sucks. And believe me, trying to get to the holiday season without my brother, yeah, it was, and it still is a hard thing, and it still sucks. But I try, I manage, and that's all I can do. So, as soon as I end this thing, I gotta turn off the light again in a Christmas tree. Right after the holiday season, I'm putting it into my bedroom. Because I may need to have a little bit of holiday season cheer to get me through the rest of the year. Rhymes, doesn't it? Okay. So, I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll see how things are going.